Hey y'all, I am back with a DIY background video and this time I'm going to be showing you guys how I uh, created a background using scraps. So I've done very similar things before so this is really nothing new with the exception of I found these scraps um, of punched objects. It's like the negative space and a lot of times, and I don't know about you guys, but a lot of times I throw those away. And especially when there's not much left, I just kind of toss them. And this time I was like, I could probably use those for something. So I put them in my scrap bin. And as I was going through my scrap bin to find uh, papers for this project, I decided to pull them out and challenge myself to use them. So I really am liking the way that this is looking so far. Um, it's just a, this is a very simple layout. Did not take me very long. I think it took me like anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes to complete. Um, for the, this process took me about 15 to 20 minutes to complete. And uh, I decided I wanted to show you guys this because I've done this before, but I don't know that I've walked you through um, the process or at least using the scraps on the background. So, um, <coughs> excuse me, I chose various strips of paper and just kind of cut them down to um, just a size that I may want to use for this project. And I had the idea of making a cluster or a uh, vertical design of papers just going down downward on the left hand side of the page and then when I found these negative space objects I decided to um, place paper underneath so that they would be shown through instead of just having like the white paper underneath which would have been fine too. I also um, when I do a design on the left side of the page or the right side of the page and it's primarily just heavy on one side I do add a little cluster um, of paper on the uh, either side of the opposite side of whatever I'm working on. So this for this particular project, I use some strips of paper, just scraps on the right side of the page, and I will sew those down. So one of the ideas to using scraps in the background is using a sewing machine if you have one. If you don't, you can just leave them adhered with adhesive or the whatever adhesive you're using, whether it's um, hot glue gun. Hot glue gun would be really good on this particular uh, page as far as like putting the scraps down because it would add a lot of texture and height but for this particular project I wanted to use my sewing machine so I did not use hot glue gun for the base of the layout. So now that I've got my background done um, I am going to go ahead and start working on the layout and I knew that I wanted this to be happy girl so the title to be happy girl and so I looked for the word happy and then I also where I wanted it to be something like that and I wanted the title to be big because I felt that I wanted the photo down towards the bottom and then I needed something to kind of fill up the space on the top. <clears throat> so I decided to add the title Happy Girl. And the reason I decided on that title, it's not original, but <sighs> this is a picture of my daughter at the grocery store. And she wanted everybody's attention. She was waving at people random people and which is totally fine like I you know I want her to be a sweet girl and to wave and to be friendly and you know whatnot but um I just thought that was so funny and I what wanted to kind of snap a picture of her at the grocery store so that I could remember um you know that moment so I decided to title it happy girl and then um I'm just I just found some random embellishments some things that I haven't used some things on my desk and then also some of my uh, DIY embellishments that I'm adding to, like the butterfly and then that stitched banner there on the left side of the photo. So this is, like I said, this is a very simple layout. I add like a couple more things and I think I add a chipboard piece that says 60 cents with, which I thought was appropriate because we were at the grocery store. And then um, I add some splatters at the end. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it was very simple, but I had a blast making this because mostly because I didn't know where I was going to go with it. I just know that I want, I just knew that I wanted to show you guys how I do a scrap background. So if you guys, if you guys happen to do this, let me know and I will check out your channel or check out your page or tag me on Instagram. Here comes some final photos after I do the, the splatters, which are, I think it's October afternoon pink lemonade, which they don't sell anymore. And then recollections something, I don't know, some net color that I got, but that is pretty much it. Have a great weekend. Mm -hmm.